As Armor or Forger players we all want to see the game updated and improved. With updates being slow, we have to wait months until new gameplay features are added. But as of making this video, the experimental branch of the game has been updated with some exiting content that shines a bright light on the coming updates. The experimental branch was updated with a brand new point of interest for a future update. The location itself is a new power plant at the northern side of the map. The power plant itself can be found to the southeast of St. Philip. It can be speculated that this power plant was added in anticipation for the island's electricity update. This update will add a full electricity network across the island of Eberron, although not much is known about adding this to Arland. Nevertheless this will come with the addition of lights across the island. However this power can be disrupted, this could be done by destroying enemy power stations, capturing them or shutting off power at transformer like in province. This system may also work like radio range, where cutting power to a town may make the enemy forces lose it until power is restored. The addition of this system will make night gameplay more entertaining as you could shut off the power to an enemy held base before assaulting it. A major feature players have been begging for is improvements to the game's AI, this is due to it feeling so inconsistent, they either never sport you or lock onto your head from a mile away. But hopefully from looking at the road maps we will see constant improvement. From the ground support road map one of the last feature we are yet to get is commanding AI squads outside of Game Master, the friendly AI will be able to dynamically join your squad, these commands seem to be the same as the ones features in the Game Master mode. On the same road map, we are still also waiting on AI units being able to drive, this will be a welcome feature as Game Master struggled to have engaging convoy ambushes. With the medical update, Bohemia enabled vehicles to slowly run out of fuel. These vehicles when running low can be refueled at fuel station compositions at bases. But 9 times out of 10 these vehicles will be destroyed before they have a fuel light. But on the air assault roadmap, it seems like this isn't all we will see from a fuel system. It mentions fuel related assets, this could mean anything but I can provide a guesses. This could be referring to the American and Soviet fuel trucks, and could mean they may be getting a use. Furthermore it could be referring to the fuel stations scattered around the map, and how they may be updated to be more important, with the same section of the road map mentioning fuel nozzles. These are the things I can think of, please leave your ideas in the comments. Logistics may be getting more complicated as well. Along with fuel improvements, the air assault road map mentions the future bringing two types of supplies, one type for building, and a new type of supply for ammunition. Continuing on the final strike roadmap as mentions of simple and advanced levels of destruction. This destruction could mean the destruction of the environment itself. For simple destruction, this could be similar to what we have now, with the destruction of windows, fences and some walls, this could also mean additions to this system with the destruction of doors and furniture. Advanced destruction may be, full building destruction, an example would be battlefield, but I see having its level of destruction to be a stretch, this could also mean ground deformation as the final strike roadmap also features mortars. Conflict players should expect to see a major change in the future, as freeform building will be coming to the mode. This means bases around the map will no longer be in predefined places, this will force players to strategically place their bases, as to not have them in compromising positions, but the placement of these bases will be restricted by radio range. You may be asking yourself how will these bases be established, this is where I believe another new feature will come into play. The HQ role is player driven and will be in control of the team, they will decide where the freeform bases are placed, they will also be able to command friendly AI units, they will also be able to control AI supply convoys. Finally, for players who prefer the Game Master mode, it will also have all new systems coming for Game Masters to use. On the Air Assault roadmap, Game Masters should expect to see the ability to place artillery, smoke and other effects. Game Masters will also be able to connect waypoints to entities, this could be used to have more scripted events. Continuing on, we should expect to see save slots for Game Master, this will should allow for the setup of a Game Master event beforehand in single player. In the final strike roadmap it reiterates on the same points as before, this might mean that this feature might come at any time. But this is where I close off the video, and thank you for watching. I hope this has been a detailed guide through the coming content of Armor of Forger. I ask you go to my channel after this and watch some of my other content.